Okay, so hello guys and welcome back to some more scratch coding videos. Um, uh, this is episode 2 and this will be about how to make simple gravity in your game. You will probably use this for platformer games to make the game more challenging. So it's not like you have a jetpack. So I have a little program over here. So I'm using the code that we used in our last video to, to make smooth moving. So... If you didn't watch my last video, then this is basically how it works. When the flag is clicked forever, if the key is pressed, then repeat until the key is not pressed and do the action. So as you can see, that works. Except we can't go, it doesn't go down. You have to drag it down. But as you know, if you have ever played other games on Scratch, then like that doesn't exactly work, you know? So, today I'll show you how to make gravity. So the first step is to make a code that doesn't let you move, like when you're just flying, or when you're in the air, because that's unrealistic. So, so it's a simple code, so I won't cut, cut the video. So, basically, you just go to the control. So... Take our if statement and then go to the sensing, then touching color, and then in this scenario, the floor and tiles are black. So you can just use this tool to capture whatever color it is. So in this scenario, like I said, it's black. And then basically put that all over all of these codes, like this. Wait, is that the right or order? I'm just checking. Yeah, that's the right order. Like that. So as you can see, okay, I have not touched in black, I just realized. So in the air, it doesn't work, but if you're touching black, it does work. Except, yeah, we're still not going down. So this is the part where it gets like a little bit tricky. So I'll cut the video. So I'll make the, so the second step, no, the second step is to make it go down when you're not touching black. So it's just a simple code and I'll cut the video for this part. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to make it and then show it to you. Okay, so now that they have the second step done, so this is the second step. So, as you can see, when you click the flag, you can move around, but you can't jump. And that's because, basically what the code is doing right over here, is when the flag is clicked forever, if the, it's not touching the color black, then repeat until it is touching the color black, change Y by negative 10. So the reason you can't jump up, is because the jumping up... Jumping up is actually changing y by 10. So this is basically combining and turning it to zero. So how to fix that? Well, I'm not going to include this as a step, you know. So it's just a quick fix. You can change it to 20, and as you can see, boom. So you go down, but, like, you can still fly around. Like, you have a jetpack, you know. So the third step... It's also kind of simple, so I'll just include it here. So, the f so you have to take away the smoothness, you know? So, to keep the if key up arrow, but then take out this part, right? And then there's just a change y by 20. So, now, but it's just really... So, now you can jump, because basically what it's doing is just repeating it one time, instead of when you touch the key... It's like doing it forever up. I mean, it's still doing it f kind of forever, but not not really, you know. So, but not you can't really jump. So, yeah. So it's only three easy steps to make it to gravity. I won't include this as the step either. Just change it to forty or whatever you might like. Yeah, forty is still not enough. Maybe you'll change it to like 
90. That's something like that. Yeah. So I can, so I can see, I only use three easy steps. It's a little bit laggy. But it's the simplest way I can think of. Maybe you can upgrade it. But this is supposed to be a simple video, you know? Um, uh, so that's it. That's how to make simple gravity on Scratch. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.